Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss the new AI voice agent that Cohalibel has recently launched. It's a very, very powerful tool and I've recently checked it out. It can receive inbound calls for you. So whenever you're not working or whenever your receptionist or your salesperson is not available, it can take calls and then provide information to your leads, to your clients, to your members. So right now it's, it's in the primary phase and it can't really book people in to your calendar for an appointment, but it can still do a lot of stuff. So we're going to discuss those but we uh, we need to talk about the pricing so the pricing model is $97 per sub account so if you want to resell it obviously you can resell it in any amount you like to your clients but go high level will charge you per account $97 that's the AI agent AI employee cost so let's talk about the let's talk about the bot now so first of all we need to go to settings we need to go to voice AI agents as you can already see I have one so let me just delete this and then I'll create another one but first of all, let me just copy this prompt so I can just show you what I have done so far to train it. Um, training this bot is a very crucial part because how the bot is going to react to your leads or your audience's inquiries depends on how well you can train it. So let's just name it my agent 627, whatever. This is my business name, right? And uh, I want to train a UK bot. Uh, so right now the voice, the UK voice av available, the only one is uh, Chris. UK so I'm going to select that um, inbound only for now outbound is not available and I don't recommend if even if they allow it uh, even if you can do it I don't recommend doing cold outbound with this bot you're not going to get good results I assume so I'm going to say hey you you've reached Asib's assistant Chris how can I help you today so that's the initial message. That's how the, uh, after receiving the call, the bot starts the conversation through this message. And now I'm going to switch to advanced mode. So this is the agent goals. Uh, and I'm going to get rid of all these, just put my prompt that I used, and then I'm going to walk you through the entire thing. That, so the background info will be your Chris, your dedicated assistant for Haseeb, uh, focusing on assisting uh, my clients' leads, those who want to book a call with me or need digital marketing services. Your goal is to contact information, first name, last name, and phone number. If applicable, use the appropriate tool whenever the caller's query matches the configured tool trigger. So I'll, I'll show you what the tool trigger is. Uh, your goal. If the caller ask, asks a question, check whether the question matches a tool trigger's condition. So basically, a tool trigger has the ability to execute a workflow. This this works like, you know, workflow AI as well. So whenever someone, let's say, for example, someone says, I want to book a call. So what it's going to do is based on that message received by the AI, the AI can execute a specific workflow. And that's that's what the tool trigger is all about. I'll, I'll show you how to configure that, but uh, that's what it basically does. Instructions for handling call queries. If the caller asks a question, check whether, you know, it, it matches a tool trigger. If the question matches tool trigger's condition, use the tool immediately basically just immediately add them to that workflow if it if the condition matches then continue the conversation don't hang up if no tools available or the question does not match a tool's triggers a condition politely inform that the call uh, the caller that C will reach out redirect the conversation back to gathering the remaining con contact information you know uh, and then avoid so the general rules for handling caller's queries is Avoid asking for further details regarding their query on do not repeat the sentence because it, it has a tendency to repeat the same thing. Um, that's why I have specifically told it not to do that. Avoid asking, okay, stick to provided information only. Only respond with information given the prompt. So these are, th these are the basic stuff. And I want it to use British phrases uh, rather than American phrases like that's awesome. No, I want to use that's brilliant. You know, something like that. Uh, can I have a, we, we use, could I have a, you know, so that's, that's the thing uh, I would like to, uh, like it to do uh, in terms of using phrases, right? So I can explicitly just give it some, I literally went to chat GPT and said, just give me the British phrases, phrases, you know, and it gave me a few of them. So I just put them here, copied and pasted it. And then other than that, there are some other instructions like uh, assurance of prompt support, like assure the caller of a prompt callback or from our team, or, you know, a C will call you back, a C will email you back, something like that. Uh, and then always end with a buy. So if like it depends on how well you can train it and you have, you definitely have the ability to test it out before launching it. So obviously you'll, you'll do some tests, you'll put it to, to through some unique use cases and see how it reacts. Based on its reaction, you can come back and always edit the prompt, right? And then the tool, tool trigger will be, that that's the tool trigger, right? So if someone says, so let's say send booking link, 
because it doesn't have the ability to book people in, what we're going to do is we're going to send booking link if they ask for it. So I'm going to say I have a workflow say uh, the workflow name is booking link employee AI. All this workflow has it's just one action, which is send SMS and that sends an SMS. Here's the booking link. That's basically the only action in this workflow booking link employee. AI. I, I can even show you that. But when to trigger the workflow will be user wants to book a call or appointment. That's the trigger. So just write it in simple English. That's it. The bot will understand if that's the if, if someone's query matches the, this tool trigger. That's what the tool trigger is. And here I'm going to say OK, because once it sends the booking link, it automatically says oh, I've sent you the booking link. Brilliant. You know, so you don't have to say it again. That's the otherwise it's going to be duplicated. It's going to say, OK, I've sent you the booking link. Brilliant. I've sent you the booking link. So you don't have to do that. Just avoid that. Just type OK here. And that's pretty much what you need to do in the tool trigger. There are other actions. However, you can uh, you can obviously check them out, like update contact field, send SMS, call transfer. So you can uh, ask them for, to leave their you know details and then update contact field like that. Call transfer. Obviously, if there, someone's available to take the call, send SMS. You can do all sorts of stuff like that. But for now, we're just sticking with this. Uh, and then you can also trigger a workflow when the call is completed, when the call ends, you can add them to a separate workflow that will send a message saying that how was the call? Give us a feedback, something like that. Uh, receive email notification post call completion. That's not necessary. When you go to next, it's going to ask you to pay $97. I mean, if it's you, if you have reselling enabled, it's going to ask you, uh, it's going to ask your client for the amount that you have set up in SaaS. And in this step, once you complete the payment, all you need to do is just set up the uh, working hours for the bot. You can turn off the working hours. So whenever the call uh, is not received by your number uh, that, that you have forwarded the virtual number to, the bot will pick up the call and then start doing its thing, right? If you have set up uh, working hours, it's just going to be activated in those specific hours only. So once we hit save, that's basically what we need to do in order to... Uh, so that's basically what we need to do in terms of setting up the AI voice agent. Now let's do a test because we have the prompt. We have the instructions here. Now we can obviously do a test. So I'll just enter my own number here. So I'll, I'll obviously get a call now and then I'll start talking about, uh, you know, some some queries. So I'll just call. For quality purposes. Hey, you have reached Hasib's assistant, Chris. How can I help you today? Hello, Chris. How are you? Hey there, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? Yeah, not too bad. Thanks. Glad to hear that. So what can I assist you with today? Uh, I just wanted to reach out to Hasib and uh, wanted to talk about something. Is it possible to uh, book an appointment with him? Okay, I've taken care of that for you. You'll receive a link to book an appointment with Hasib shortly. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yes, I have just received the link. Thank you for that. Uh, do you know what services that Hasib is currently providing? I'm not sure about the specifics, but a team member will reach out to you with all the details. Anything else you'd like to know? Uh, can you please ask Hasib to send me an email? I can pass along your request and a team member will ensure Hasib gets the message. Could you please provide your email address so we can make sure it reaches you? Yeah, so it's john at myagency.com. Got it. We'll make sure Hasib gets in touch with you at john at myagency.com. Anything else I can do for you today? Uh, no, thank you, Chris. You're welcome, John. Have a great day. So there you go. Uh, it it asked uh, it asked for my email because I said if Hasib can send me an email back. That's why it specifically asks for my email and then it picked up the name from my email as well. So that's how simple it is in terms of setting up. The only thing I haven't showed you is how to subscribe, which you already know, obviously, how to subscribe. Once you subscribe, it's going to ask you what number you want to connect to uh, this agent to because you need to have an active LC phone system number here. And then once you have that, you can just uh, you can just have it connected to this uh, to this AI agent. All you need to do is just go to the third step and then assign the number here, um, the virtual number, right? And one more thing you need to keep in mind is if you come over here uh, in phone numbers, go to settings, and you need to make sure that your incoming call and outbound, uh, outgoing call timeout is set to a specific amount. So incoming call 10 seconds means 
if uh, in 10 seconds you don't pick up the call the ai will pick it up unless you have specific working hours set for the ai agent so that's pretty much it and i personally think this is a really cool feature obviously this is a, a new feature that so it's not perfect yet they will make more changes to it and um yeah hopefully it gets you know it gets to the point where it can book people into a uh, for an appointment through a go high level calendar so until then just subscribe to the channel if you like my videos and i will see you in the next one mm -hmm.